pretty good. I, I can recall. I have to bring you some footage. Was that for a night off? Yeah, that was for a night off. I think I think everybody is approaching it you know, the same way we've been approaching it. Honestly, just just working hard and being focused. Um, and Bill Bill said that one of our biggest days was going to be this today. And, uh, you know, I think everybody was focused. Everybody was ready to come to practice. Uh, I think we had a pretty decent practice. Practice, so well, I think I think we're on the right track. I know you guys have talked a lot about how the scheme doesn't matter. I can't remember leading into that game. I try to forget everything I can about that. So, I can't remember. In high school, you had your friends that wanted to team when you had all this great high school footage and doing all sorts of crazy stuff. What did you do? In high school, I've probably played every position on the field. It's, it's probably one position that I say. I'll never play again in that side. Well, two of them. Running back and uh, center. Those are probably the two toughest positions in the field. Well, center. I went down there and first play. Dude hit me right in my head and knocked me down. I said, that was it. I can't hike the ball and then try to block some eye. And then running back, I got back there and ran the ball and falling backwards. A dude probably 5'4". 120 pounds hit me so hard. I dropped the ball and everything. I said, I'd never run the ball again. You don't have to worry about me asking to be a running back. So those two probably off my list. <laughs> they had a lot of pranks back then. Richard and those guys, and Will and McGinnis, it was a fun bunch. I mean, they, when, when, you, when you build a football team and you talk about character and you talk about leadership, you know, you know, those guys always come to mind. Those are the first guys that come to my mind because they played the game the way they needed to be played. Uh, when it was time for business, it was time for business. When it was time to have fun, they had fun. But they always let us know, hey, man, we might be having fun now, but tomorrow or next week, we, we, we have to get, get to work. And I think everybody rallied from that. So... I learned a lot from those guys. Some was good and some was bad. I'll try to forget the bad. Hey, Vince, have you looked at... Your only defeat of the season. Harrison and Keith Evans and guys like that said that they would be motivated by revenge in a game like this. How much is that on your mind? It, it won't be. I mean, every time you get to this level, it's a special. You have to, you have to enjoy it. You have to, this is something going to stick with you to the rest of your life. It's going to be the footage. You want to see NFL films. You want to see this game. So, um, yeah. 07, you know, it was 07, but now it's 2012, now and both teams are different. Uh, I don't think we're looking for revenge. I mean, you just have two football teams wanting, wanting to play the best they can play and, and try to win. That's what it's going to come down to. So I don't look at it as revenge or anything back to 07 because we're a totally, totally different ball. Have you seen the game footage from 07? No, never seen it. Never seen that film. Vince is... is You know what? Um, before we left Boston, I, I just turned to I remember turning to uh, Cal Love and said, "You excited?" And he's like, "Yeah." I said, "You know what? I'm, I'm happy to know you guys. It makes me happy to see my teammates happy, and guys that've been around for a while, and guys that's young." Being able to play in something like this is special. You know, I, have the, I have the pleasure of, you know, just on that one play. You know, I know how it feels to win. I know how it feels to lose. I know both feelings, but you know, just to see the look and just to see how guys, how excited guys are, man, that's that's priceless. That's priceless. You know, man. And I just tell them all the time, enjoy it. Like you say, when it's time to work, you have to work. And you know what? They 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 done a great job. When it's time to go to work. They, they've been going to work.
I mean, get better. I, I mean, goal each, each week is to get better. And we in the Super Bowl right now, and guess what? We're still preaching. Getting better. <laughs> it's going to always be preaching because you, you see so many, you watch so much film, you look at yourself, you look at you know us as a unit, and it's just so many areas that we can do a, you know, a lot better. And, and, and the good thing about it is these guys believe the same thing. So it's not like I'm saying it or Bill saying it or a coach saying it. The guys don't believe it. They believe because they see the same thing. So, but it makes it easier for you, know, you to go to work understanding everybody can see the same thing. And these guys have been doing a heck of a job all year. Well, just keep doing Just keep focusing on the target. Just keep keep your head down and keep grinding. These guys have been doing a good job with that, and we won't stop now. So hopefully we can, we can continue to grind for one more. You know, and then, you know as the offseason comes, once we got a flow, we got offseason this year, get back into the things and start it all up again. Thank you.